would you say that uh, rising food prices or uh, rising energy prices is a more uh, crucial global issue at this time? Both. They kind of go hand in hand. They, they are both important, but food would probably be more important because we can live without electricity. We've done it for centuries, but at the same time, in our, in our way of life, the way that we've been existing is becoming more we've been becoming more dependent upon it, but we still need to eat to survive. So we're kind of thinking food would be the the greater concern right now. Anyone else? Betty? But since it's Betsy, but Betsy. since food is but since food is a renewable resource, do you think it'll be people to just start growing their own food and raising their own pigs and cows and making their own food? Then they speak the system. I mean, it's a renewable resource. Resource. It's not like fuel where you run out and like there's only certain people who can have access to it. Like anyone can grow food. Oh, that's also the world's not like the world's not going to run out of energy either. There are there are, there are many forms of energy that we're looking into using. Right. So, so they're, they're they're both very important. As for which one is more important. Well, not, not everybody has the land to grow a bunch of food. You know, or the time. Much, you know, people live in New York City, where are they going to grow food at? Down the middle of the street. So. In their apartment. Yeah. <laughs> in the back of the fridge. Grow more. Any more? <laughs> right here. Uh, are there any no. uh, big, long or short-term short -term solutions to um, getting out of uh, this sort of crisis? Well, a lot of it has to do with the gasoline prices because of the uh, high cost of gas and the high cost of transporting the food. So it would be going into um, other methods of finding energy.